Have you? Okay, uh, so today we're going to make uh, mint vegan balls and salted caramel flavoured balls. Uh, they're pretty much um, non-processed and raw, although there is going to be some options so that they're easier to make for everybody and the salted caramel flavour um, you know, is slightly processed, but there's no sugar. Um, and they're definitely healthier than a lot of the treats that you're going to find in the shops. So no, no added start... sugar. Pardon? No added sugar. No added sugar. Fair, fair yeah. point. Uh, so we're going to start with the mint ones. And we're going to take a cupful of walnuts. <laughs> they're really simple and quick to make. And once you've made them, I don't know, they keep for like a week, maybe even two weeks in the fridge. Or you can freeze them and keep them for even longer. So I'm just going to take my cup of walnuts and I'm going to put them in a food processor. <laughs> and then I'm going to take some dates, I'm going to pit them, and I'm going to get a cup full of dates. And I didn't prepare them earlier, so... Um... So I'm going to add the cup of dates. And then I'm going to pop in, so at this point it's where you've got a choice, um, you can either use cacao powder, which is like raw cocoa powder, untreated, I've got cocoa powder and I've got carob, now carob is a chocolate alternative and it's from a carob pod and it tastes a bit like chocolate and if you don't like chocolate or you have a bad effect with chocolate or cacao then you can just replace it with carrot. I do one tablespoon of each. So Is it one tablespoon or one cup Sarah? One table, I put one tablespoon of carrot and one tablespoon of cocoa but if you want to put um, two tablespoons of, of cacao that's perfect. All right. In it. So I have a bit of a funny reaction, I can't have too much chocolate or too much cacao, so I really like trying to mix with carrot. It's super easy to make. So then we're going to put in some drops of mint. I've got organic peppermint essence, um, whatever peppermint flavouring you've got. Uh, then I'm going to put uh, some peppermint oil. Um, I've got an organic peppermint. Uh, yes. Uh, whatever the uh, peppermint flavour you want to use. And it's really potent if you use an essential oil. So you only want to put like two or three drops in the amount that we've just made. And then if you want to put more in, then you can always add and you can taste as you go. But it, it's very potent and just be aware that if you put like... <laughs> 10 drops in or something, it won't really warm the whole thing. Okay. I put four drops in because you really like strong peppermint flavour. Um, then I'm going to take this mint I harvested from my garden. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> I actually really like it because I feel like sometimes People, um, we just use fake mint flavour all the time and it has a really different taste and I do like to put as much kind of close to naked things in as possible. So I'm just going to take some of the leaves of the peppermint, I've just washed it. Um, and then at this point I'm just going to blend it until it's in a ball like uh, texture. Some dark chocolate. Um, I'm using green and blacks, um, 85%. You can use the cow nibs or um, yeah, like dark chocolate chips, then you won't need to blend them too much. Because I'm using um, chunks like this, I'm going to have to whiz them a bit longer. So I'm going to put them in now. Is 
your but then they can on. do it with something that looks kind of like this. And when you try and stick it together, it should hold together nice and easily. So I'm just going to make some balls out of this. You might want to just te like test it as well and see if it's pepperminty enough. I make ones generally that are about this big and then I just roll them. So that they're in a nice ball shape. And then I just pop them down on a plate. And from that small um, amount, I make I've made like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And these are super peppermint. Oh, uh, hold on a sec. I should grab it here. Yeah, that's a nice one. 